Welcome back, folks. All right, sit back, relax, get ready to laugh, and also be impressed, because this guy's an actor, comedian, producer, writer, school board member, and county commissioner recently <laughs> voted in, all wrapped into one. You likely recognize him from his role on TV's Breaking Bad as a DEA agent, but you probably didn't know he's also a stand-up comic. Please welcome Stephen Michael Cazada to the First Coast Laugh Lounge. How you doing, man? Good. How you doing? I'm doing well. You're in town performing at the Comedy Club of Jacksonville. I am. Um, this weekend. Uh, how many shows? Uh, I'm doing three, I think, all together. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and this is really cool. We've been talking a bunch uh, already this morning, and um, not a lot of comedians, you know, you do, they act and, and that <laughs> stuff, but not a lot of them go and go, hey, you know what, I, I got to go do my job as a county commissioner. You just That's got right. elected in, That's right. in I, January, right? I did. Uh, I'm already starting my second term or second year of my term. And, uh, you know, I'm just a community guy. I'm just a guy that, that, you know, has always paid attention to what's happening in the neighborhood. I come from, a, you know, a pretty poor neighborhood. And I've always wanted to, you know, make sure that those kids have the same kind of, kind of opportunities that everybody else has. And so I've always been a kind of fighter for that. But, you know, you have to, you have to feed the family, too, you know. So I'm an entertainer. That's my job. Yep. You know, like I was listening to the doctor about kids smoking and, you know, and having and not being able to, you know, and we're trying to focus and fix things. Yeah. You know? My wife has a Louis Vuitton habit and I'm trying to really fix the Louis yeah. Vuitton habit. I think that's it's a, dangerous. It's very dangerous and expensive. <laughs> <laughs> now you and you got three daughters, so you. I do. You, I mean, they were talking about you know teens and stuff and, and all the know. different problems. I mean, you I've, you've made it through it. I got one coming in. July. Oh yeah, it's it's the it's the greatest ride ever, and that's what we're supposed to do, and you're gonna enjoy it uh, until they get to become teenagers, and then nah, you're not gonna enjoy it as much. But can you pass them off at that point? <laughs> well, I think you could sell them. I tried to, but nobody wanted my problems. They said, yeah, <laughs> I wanted to trade one in for a boy. And then, and then they started dating boys. And then I said, OK, I'm good. I didn't want no boys. I purposely did that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and so you you started though, and that's what some people may not know. I mean, yeah. the, the community stuff has come. You've always been doing that, but the acting and everything else you started in comedy. This is I what did. you've been doing. I did. I started in 1987 doing stand-up comedy. Uh, before that, I was a theater actor, you know, yeah. and playwright. Uh, and and I love live performing. You know, live performing nothing is, is, is nothing better. You know, because yeah. you've done it for most of your life yeah. too. And so, just the crowd and being in the game. Instant you know, feedback. I love it. Yeah, I love that game. And so, uh, I've always done that. 2005, I went back into acting just because a friend of mine bought a uh, talent agency and he needed actors. And uh, and I had done a play for him. He was a writer too. And I did a play for him at a community theater. And he called me. He goes, man, I think you should go back into acting. And I said. Uh, I'm a Mexican. There's only one role, Pepe, and you have 50 million people, right, auditioning for Pepe. I said I just started buying lottery tickets because I had better odds at that, man. And so he did, and and I, and I went and got pictures, and I went for an audition. I did First Snow, which was uh, Hawk Osby yeah. and Mark Fergus. They're the guys who ended up writing Children of Men and Iron Man okay, and all yeah. stuff. This was their first film, and I I played a small role in the beginning of that film. And, and that's weird in this business. Once you start working. It keeps you coming. start working, yeah. But it's that start working is what's <laughs> hard for that everybody. First one. And then how, yeah. did, how did Breaking Bad come about? Well, same thing. Walked into the room, uh, you know, did three callbacks, and and Vince just really wanted somebody who was actually from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Nice. Uh, and I was the guy. And uh, me and Dean, you know, who played Hank, uh, just hit it off. We're still best of friends. Uh, matter of fact, we we'll, we'll be we'll be doing a movie together in, in August. So we're is that we're, what the beard for? Not done, no, this is another one. Oh, you got another movie? Yeah, that's the one I can't tell you about. But yeah, I'm preparing for a movie right now. So many. Uh, but you know, so I have to juggle that. I got to juggle county commission. I got to juggle uh, being a stand-up comic, which is mostly weekends. You yeah. know, I'm here on a Thursday. You go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. I'm back home Sunday. And, you're and back then I probably do real problems. Two, two, two or three movies a year if I can. You know, I mean, and that's that's just, that's if you get the role. You know, you're always back in line. You know, auditioning as you know. All yeah, right. it's well, not got, easy. I'm a generic, you know, generic a, white hey, guy. I'm a hey, generic white guy. Hey, so. there's more roles for you. All right, well, help me out. If you've got one in your upcoming movies, if you need generic, uh, decent looking, could pass for 30 ish to 40 ish. And this is all I got. So if, if this is all I got, you definitely got, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to hand up over on Thanks, me because this is it. You know, I go to hair and makeup and they go, what can you do? And I go, do you have a plastic surgeon? Because uh, that's what I'm going to need. All right. You can see Stephen Mike Gazzotta at the Comedy Club of Jacksonville on Beach Boulevard. There are shows tomorrow and Saturday. You can buy tickets and find more information by visiting JacksonvilleComedy.com. Yeah, let's sell them out. Thanks, man. Good All to right, see you. All right, man. Cool. Appreciate it. Sure.